Right, so what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel on this week's video. Let me take my headphones out so I can actually hear myself. Today, we're going through a weekend in the life sort of video. I hope you can hear me, I've got my mic set up just on the bike. Just because I haven't got any drawstrings in the, on this jumper. I've just finished cardio, you've seen before that I did my morning round of posing. Today's my check-in day, I check in on Saturday, so the fastest, fastest round of posing for uh, Brad, my coach. Weighed myself, uh, took my blood pressure this morning as well. I do that every Saturday. Everything looking good, blood pressure's all right. The weight's moved me up nicely. I haven't checked my photos yet, but it looked, it looked okay. I'll let, you, I'll let you in on a little behind the scenes sort of thing in the corner as I did my posing. I've just done card, my cardio 30, 30 minutes every day because I don't train on Saturdays just to save petrol and time and everything. I do cardio at home on my rest days. So two days a week I'll be on the bike and then the other five days a week I'll be on the Stairmasters. On the Stairmasters, sorry, 30 minutes on all seven days. But yeah, cardio's done. Obviously, I did my posing fasted, but I got some liquids in the system. I had some water and then um, put aminos in this. 10 grams. You can't see my legs right now, but they are pumped. Yeah, the, uh, the weekend in life, couple of days in life. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a shower quickly and get myself up to Tesco. This, this will kill two birds with one stone. Obviously going to Tesco and getting food in, ready for meal one and a couple of other things I need to get. And two, to get my steps in, I do 8,000 steps a day. So walking to my nearest Tesco and back probably does about two and a half thousand steps. Maybe 3,000 if it's busy enough to walk around a million times. So I'm gonna get to doing that and I'll catch you when we get there. Right, so as you can see, I'm making meal too quickly. I'm not gonna show you too much of the food stuff because it's not a full day of eating. Just keeping you in the loop of what's going on. Got chicken, rice, and peanut butter. Meal two. After this, I'm gonna get on with my client check-ins. I'm gonna look over my physique shots, stuff I sent to, to Brad, and then also deal with my client check-ins and reprogram some stuff if needed. So I'll bring you in on that. And then it'll be time to film my talk through for next week's video, which will be back workout and differentiating between your upper back and your lats. That sort of thing, some more tips and tricks because I know you like them sort of videos, but I thought I'd give it a break and take you through a weekend of life video for this week anyway, just to break it up a bit so it's not all the same structure, regimented, informative style of video, some other stuff as well, some more stuff about me personally, you know? So yeah, I'll bring you along for a little behind the scenes of me filming that as well. And then obviously the editing process on top of that. And then by then it'll be time for meal three. So I'll catch you all when we get to that. Next we've got another seated row, but this one's the chest supported prime row. The closer your elbows are to your hip, the more your lats are going to work. And as they abduct, as they come away from the hip and come up higher, that's gonna work your upper back more. Allowing for more bias to be placed on the lats and allowing for me to get a
Right, right, so I haven't got my mic on. Right, so now I've got my mic on. We are back from Mill 3. You see me do some editing. I'm just finishing up the last touches of the talk through, so the overlay on top of the training footage where I go through everything like how to switch the tension between the lats and the upper back and the exercises that I'm using to grow my back personally. Also the football's on, it's Portugal Morocco so I'm flicking between the two so it's taking a little bit longer than usual, hence the headphones for editing purposes so everyone doesn't have to hear my voice going over the same bit now and over and over again to get the edit done. But taking a quick break to get meal three in. Meal three is a shake, usually my post-workout shake, but as it's a rest day today, it's just a shake. I have got my ingredients here. Carbs and protein, as well as, get the focus on this bad boy. There we go, flavor drops. Chocolate peanut butter flavor. Hopefully I'm back in focus. I put a little bit of this in with my shake just because 50 grams of carbs and only 25 grams of the protein which has flavor and this doesn't kind of gives off the only way i can explain this is if you've ever had watered down coke it's like a watered down coke but watered down protein and just a little drop of this just get that little bit of extra flavor in because these are really strong so you don't need a lot just helps to make it easier i neck it anyway so really it doesn't matter i bought these with the intention of using it when i was blending real food like mints because obviously when i had tonsillitis if you haven't checked out that video it's my return to training video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You can check it out anyway. Talking links in the description. If you want to shop my protein, as you can see everything here is my protein. I'll leave a link in the description below to that as well, where you can shop my protein. Currently a 70% sale. I don't know if it is on the day of release, what the discount is, but it's always a big discount. You know what they're like over at my protein. So click the link to help me. Let them know that I sent you so I can get some money and then use my code to help you. So help, help me to help you. James Elbert, check out the code. It's also in the in the description next to the link. To shop my protein, everyone saves, everyone wins. Get yourself some, some quality supplements at a low price while helping me to pay for my supplements. <laughs> so, enough chatting. I'm not gonna go through too much of this shake because obviously it's not a full day of eating video. I'm gonna make a new one, an updated version of that for, if not next week, the week after. So I'm gonna quickly put these here, weigh it out, and I'll catch you when it's made. I almost forgot that I put creatine as well because it's rest day. I usually put my creatine in my pre-workout, but I'm not working out today, so it goes in with my post-workout or my, my shake. So in she goes. I'm going to get this down me and I'll catch you when we're getting ready because I've got something exciting going on today. I'll mute that so you don't have to listen to the gulping, but it's down and I'll catch you in a sec. Right, so I've got you in the bathroom with me because I am getting ready. It's the second teeth clean of the day. I'm off out to have a cheat meal. It's my mate's birthday. So we're going to Mayhill's in Cock Foster's, having a nice little meal out. So my first off-plan meal in God knows how long. So I'm looking forward to that. Warrants a part in the video because it's not often that I go off script with my headphone hair because I've been editing all afternoon. So I want to get this done and I'll catch you all when I'm dressed. Back for meal five. About an hour, hour and a bit, hour and fifteen. 
layered than I usually have it. Got a lot of chicken and then cream or rice with peanut butter. And that'll conclude my day. I'll stay out for another hour just to let the food digest a bit. So usually I eat about eight quarter past eight and go to bed about half nine. So I'm now eating about <coughs> Currently 10 to 10, so I'll be going to bed closer to 11, about quarter to 11. Then I'm up tomorrow, exciting news because I'm jumping in the call with Brad and hopefully choosing some dates for shows, some doing some provision, provisionary off season to prep, start planning anyway. And then it's leg day, so I'm going to get all that done. I won't show you as much of the food tomorrow because I'm pretty much showing you what I'm having. This will be, be no different. Apart from meal four, obviously I'll be having my normal meal four, so I'll show you that along with the training footage, and that should be about it. The training footage uh, bring you in on what, what went down on my call, and then meal four to end the video. So that's gonna do it for me today, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Right, so we're about to go and train. I've got my pre and inch art already made. I'm still in my call talking about shows and etc. But I'm getting ready to train legs, so I've got myself a mute. I'm just gonna take you through this quickly while I'm still on the call. So for the intro, I've got EAAs and electrolytes. 10 grams of EAs and six grams of electrolytes. Supplement needs for the electrolytes. And of course my protein for the EAAs, like I said before, Link in the description below for all things my protein, James Elbow, Jack Howard, that also be in the description as well. <coughs> Get this mixed up. In my pre, I've got five grams of creatine. I've got a scoop of a scoop of joint support, strong. Two scoops of alpha pre-workout for my protein. That stuff is savage. And a scoop of pumpage from Trained by JP Nutrition. So that's my pre, that's my intro. I'm gonna finish up in this call and I'll catch you all at the gym.
Right, so we are back from the gym. Let me turn the brightness off a little bit. That should be a bit better. So we are back from the gym. I nearly stabbed myself in the face as well. So, one more time. <laughs> we are back from the gym. Absolutely savage leg workout. You're seeing from the montage. Oof. Absolutely brutal. On the hat squat, I tried a new approach with a closer stance. It was carnage for my out of sweep. It's gonna, definitely going to keep doing that in the future. Came back, like you saw yesterday, had my post-workout shake. Obviously, I didn't work out yesterday, so it was just a shake. Today, it was a post-workout shake. But we didn't see because I had my off-plan meal was my meal four. Hence, the avocado, which has just been introduced for my added fats in this meal. Take the label off. 50, uh, 50 grams of avocado with my meal four. So what I do is I split her in half. I'm gonna need a third bowl. You'll see why. For that, I don't know if you can see, but to put <laughs> the thing, it's gonna go in the fridge now that I cut into it. I have minced rice and avocado for this meal. Avocado, I am a massive fan of. I won't talk too much about the meals because I'm gonna do a full day of eating for you, if not next week, then the week after. But I'll go through my new updated meal plan for the start of this off season. But before I end the video, I just wanted to say that I've got a rough idea for my first show date. I'm looking to go to the PCA show in Manchester at the end of September. That is the original plan. It's not obviously down in stone yet. I haven't registered, but that is the plan. I'm going to speak with Brad some more. I'd imagine over the coming weeks about it. That'll give me a good amount of time to pack on some good size before I come down and go for my debut show and, <coughs> show and hopefully get myself to the British British finals that is which is on the 14th and 15th of October I have to go turn up and show everyone what I'm about I'd imagine the plan is to do first time classic because it was in the junior and to do junior bodybuilding to them two shows hopefully qualify for both and smoke everyone <laughs> that is the plan Right, that is my 50 grams, that's 51, so I'm gonna take a little bit off. There we go, that is my 50 grams. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you in, a little update. And this, what I'm gonna do now, I'm watching Walking Dead, so <laughs> giving that another go. Try and get a bit further than I got last time. I think I only got to season five last time. I'm currently on midway through season three or season four. So that's going well. Do that, add the rest of my food, get an early night, and then the week starts again tomorrow, Monday. Get this video edited ready for you on Wednesday because I'm going to put this before the back training video that you saw me filming the talk over through as part of the vlog. But I'm going to stop waffling now because I'm tired. I'm sure you're tired of me. So that is going to end. I don't know if you can hear the rice, but that is going to end the video for this week. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you like this vlog style of video learn a bit more about me as a person as well as all the training stuff that I'm imparting on you, take you through my journey with that as well. Obviously a lot more to come. Stay tuned for the off season where we get massive and then the prep season where everyone seems to enjoy the most. So that is all to come. I'm very excited for my first prep. Very excited to get absolutely diced and step onto that stage for the first time. Share this to a friend, bring them in on the channel, help me grow. And that is gonna be all for this week. I'll catch you next week, I'm out.